what caused you to go into ministry? I mean, clearly, my love of gadgets and video post-production, that was it. That's what made me say, I'm going to go to seminary. In seriousness, I come from a long line of ministers. The, the chalice in the background of many of these videos was a traveling baptismal font uh, slash candy dish that belonged to my great-grandfather. And when I was thinking uh, about going to seminary, I asked my aunt, a Methodist minister in Illinois, why she did it. Because she told me right at the start of this thing, I am invited into the most holy and tender moments of people's lives. And each time it is beautiful and an honor to be a part of. And that's a big part of it for me. Ministry is also one of the few generalist professions left out there. Um, I can go from organizing a rally to researching historical accounts of the transcendentalist movement to talking someone through an impending marriage to choosing music and speaking my thoughts uh, to a gathered group of people on Zoom. And, and that's Thursday. That's a, that's a six hour span of time. For a long time, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do with my life, and, and the pleasure and agony of ministry is that you do something different every hour. Yeah, more than all that, though, um, I think the work of intentional community building with a diverse group of people is the great challenge of this generation. Because we have to figure it out. We must find ways to live in harmony with each other and in harmony with the planet. You know, the, the choice is, Martin Luther King said, the choice is not between violence and nonviolence, but nonviolence or non-existence. We have to find a way to make this work, because the alternative is non-existence. And Unitarian Universalist communities are a place to do that work. If we can start to figure it out here, if we can build the beloved community with a few hundred people in Lincoln, Nebraska, then it is enough to trust that there are enough people of goodwill doing this work around the world. Our faith teaches us that each person has inherent worth and dignity, and that we are all interconnected. And my guess, and, and the reason for my profession, I suppose, is that if we could figure out how to do those two things, how to really live into the, their aspiration, that that would be the promised land that can be. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you again on Sunday and on Monday when we go back to these live.